India has found its second lithium reserve as per media reports. After Jammu and Kashmir, it has been found in Rajasthan's Degana. It is said that the lithium reserves are higher than the ones in JNK. Officials have claimed that the quality of lithium here can meet around 80% of India's demand. Lithium ion batteries are used in wind turbines, solar panels and of course electric vehicles, all of which are crucial in a green economy. Now, do you know which country holds a monopoly on lithium batteries? Well, no points for guessing. It's of course China. But did you know that China doesn't hold the biggest reserve of lithium? What? It doesn't. Now, how is it that China can pressurize the whole market of the world with lithium ion power batteries? Well, that's what we're about to tell you. Firstly, let's talk about lithium. What is lithium? Why is it so important? Why is it that news of big reserve of lithium ore being found is making headlines all over the world? Well, as you know that in February, the Geological Survey of India claimed that they have found huge deposits of lithium ore in JNK region of India. In the same way, Iran also found huge deposits of lithium in their country. This news ultimately declares that India and Iran can also be part of lithium exporters someday. But what they don't tell us is the geopolitics behind it. Well, first, let's take a look at lithium. Lithium ore is used to make batteries that are used in spaces where there is need for good output of charge, like EVs. What you mean to say is that lithium, in comparison with traditional battery technology, the lithium ion batteries charge faster, they last longer and have higher power density for more battery life in lighter package. This evolution of lithium came with the evolution of batteries. Now, when we look at an electric vehicle, then we can see that the charging time is long, whereas with fuel, such as petrol, it can be filled within minutes. So the point is not to have more charging stations, but better performing batteries that can give a vehicle larger mileage, say 400 to 500 kilometers. Another important factor is weight. As we all must have read in periodic table in our school, what is lithium? It is the third element in the periodic table, which means it is one of the lightest elements after hydrogen and helium. The technology to generate energy with hydrogen as a fuel is there, but not very stable. And helium is gaseous, so it floats away. Here comes lithium, which is in solid form, available in good quantities and gives a pretty good charge, which allows the vehicles to run longer. It gives a better range than lead or nickel batteries. So making the said part shorter, the country which holds a monopoly over lithium will be the leader in the geopolitical space and economics for the next decades to come. Now let's come to the hard part, the geopolitics behind it. According to US Geological Survey, Mineral Commodities Summary published in January 2023, there are about 98 million tons of lithium available on the planet, where 12 million tons of lithium is extracted from different sources in the US. Bolivia has 21 million tons, Argentina 20 million tons, Chile 11 million tons, and Australia 7.9 million tons. So you can see that more than 50% of the world's lithium source is in just four countries, and three of them are in South America. The junction of the three countries, that is Argentina, Chile, and Bolivia, is called the South American lithium triangle. The biggest point here is that the market of lithium supply is not controlled by any of these four countries. So then who controls the lithium mining in these countries? No points for guessing here as well. It's China. Also, India is so much reliant on China for lithium battery supplies that almost 70% of the import of lithium batteries comes from China. China already holds a very strong hand over the mines in different parts of the world. For example, China's Tianqi Lithium Company, as of 2080, controls more than 46% of the production of lithium worldwide, especially in Green Bushes, Australia. Tianqi also is the second largest shareholder in Chilin Mining Company, SQM. China's Gangfeng Lithium Company controls 51% of Argentinian lithium project. Chinese companies have also invested heavily in Bolivian lithium deposit mining. So China does not have the biggest lithium reserve. It controls the entities that control the reserves in South American Lithium Triangle and Australia. Now coming back to finding lithium reserves in India. The media all over the world is making this a top discussion topic, but actually having lithium and using it are two different things. It is a long and difficult procedure to turn lithium ore into usable lithium ion batteries. 
Firstly, the ore needs to be processed. After the processing, other components of the battery are made, that is cathode, anode, casing, electrolyte, etc. Then comes the production of the battery. Once the battery is made, it is installed into an EV. There are also reverse engineering of battery or recycling of the battery. And as we understand, China has invested so much into lithium production that they have already mastered the art. So much so that out of 200 lithium ion mega factories, 148 are only in China. And out of the top 10 lithium ion battery manufacturer, six are in China. Whereas India is far, far behind in lithium processing, mining, production, or recycling. Some of the companies that are producing lithium ion batteries in India are also doing it with the help of China. So now you understand that finding lithium is a big deal, but still there's a long, long way to go.